Hey everybody, what this sign should say is the very best beef brisket smothered burrito. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell you how good this is. It's green chili smothered, by the way, not brisket smothered. But we're going to cook our brisket right now. This is so easy. And the flavor, oh my gosh, it's just so good. I just, not to brag, but holy moly did this turn out good. So this is a half an onion, and I'm going to do half of a sliced jalapeno with the seeds because you want the heat. And don't worry, the heat is going to be absorbed by everything else in here. So it's not going to burn your face clean off. Here's my two and a half pound brisket. It's frozen. And the thing about briskets, always cook them with the fat cap up. Why? Because all that's flavor and it just drips down throughout the meat. Now we're going to season this baby up. I like to start out because it's a white cap with my red cayenne pepper. This way I know how much I'm putting in there because if it just hits that black porcelain crock, you don't know how much you did and you're going to have like firehouse conditions. And that's a light dusting of garlic powder. Next is a pinch of salt and then about two pinches of pepper, just black pepper. That's it. Then we're going to bring in the mother load. Bam taco seasoning now if you don't have one of these econo jug sizes of taco seasoning you don't know what you're missing out on because you can use it for everything quit buying those little tiny packets it's not a con it's not economically sound so i'm going to put about a quarter cup maybe a little bit more who cares anyway you just want to cover the top of it thoroughly with taco seasoning and you know what's wrong with taco seasoning it takes shortcuts already but you got to use enough Otherwise, it just, it'll be bland, and we don't like bland food. So the rest of my onion, I'm going to sprinkle it on top. Most of it's going to fall off. That's quite all right. And the rest of my jalapeno. Look at that. You can see I got the seeds and the white thing still in there, the vein. Oh, my gosh. I just ate this, so I'm still a little bit post-euphoric from my burrito experience. I'm just here to tell you, that's a quarter cup of water that's it but you know what i thought would be good later and i might do it next time a little shot of tequila mm, doesn't that sound good so i'll put the lid on it we're going to turn it on high for an hour because it's frozen and then we're going to turn it on low for six to seven hours and this is what comes out of it oh my gosh wait till you see this incredible as they say in french so here we go doesn't that look awesome and trust me when I say it is super dupe tender. Yes, it is. But I'm not done with this yet. I'm not ready to cut it up. Oh, wafting, wafting. Oh, it's, the smell is incredible. I really wish you could smell it. It's going to sit for a little bit to re, um, distribute all the juices. And then we're going to take all of those goodies on top. The jalapenos and the onions and the ones that are stuck to the bottom. We're going to rake them all off the top. And when that's done... Then we're going to go back and we're going to get all that taco seasoning, which is formed in, into a paste, sort of, with um, some of the fat cap that melted. Mmm, look at that. Flavor! Now when I'm done, I get a slotted spoon and I go back into the crock pot and I'm getting out all the remaining onions and jalapenos. And we're going to put them in a nice, neat little pile here and wait until you see what I do with it. No. Oh, how many times have you done this and then thrown all that stuff away? That's pure flavor, people. So we're going to cut these up with a pizza cutter. Oh, you can use a knife if you want, but that's a mess. And this is just like a wheel knife anyway. But anyway, we're going to chop this up super fine. If you have a sharp pizza cutter, it does the trick. I'm here to tell you, I cut herbs with my pizza cutter. I do all kinds of things with a pizza cutter. It ain't just for pizza anymore. So once I get this really good and chopped up super fine, you see that bowl up there with the two um, spatulas in it? It's going in there. But look at this. Cuts through it like cooked veg. Mmm. Flavor bomb city. So let's scoop all this up. Now here's another little tool I just love. If you don't have a kitchen scraper, that little metal thing right there, look how much it picks up. It scrapes. Look at that clean and it just keeps everything in place 
it's just no mess. You got to have one of those. They're, they have a million and, and two uses. Exactly one million plus two uses. I'm here to tell you it's worth it. And they're super inexpensive. So now what I'm doing is I'm just removing the fat cap from the top of this. But first, I'm going to cut off the end just to check it out. Yep, it's nice and juicy. So then I'm going to cut a few more pieces off. And then I'm really going to go in after that fat cap. And, then, and we're going to do some surgery right here. Bam, see you later, fat. Because we don't want to eat it. Now, I'm not going to use this whole brisket, even though it's only two and a half pounds. I'm on it, but I am going to use the majority of it. So now I'm just going to dice it all up. Super easy. Look at that. It comes apart just so good because it's so well done. And the flavor, holy moly, I'm here to tell you. It'll blow your mind. But, and that's just before I even doctor it up. And the doctoring couldn't be any easier. So let's get to it. Let's get our kitchen scraper back out and watch this. It makes short work out of big messes. Look at that. If you had to lift your cutting board up and there'd be meat falling on the floor, the dogs would be happy, but you'd be upset, wouldn't you? I know I would. So the rest of that meat, I'm going to set it to the side because I'm using it for something else tomorrow. And when I store it, I'm going to store it with some of the juices from the crock pot so it stays moist. Let's put that flavor bomb in there. Boom. Did you hear it? It blew up. It's so good. So we're going to mix this all around. And here's another little trick. Take some of the drippings out of the crock pot and just put reintroduce it to the meat. It's not like it's pure fat oil or anything. There's so much flavor in there from the onions and the jalapenos. And just mix it in until it looks wet enough for you. Um, we don't want it soupy or soggy or swimming. We just want it to look moist because ain't nothing better than a moist brisket. I'm going to try a little piece here. I can't tell you what happened to me, but it was good. I'm here to tell you. So I can just applaud. Yay. It was that good. Now, we're going to add some fresh cilantro. And I cannot stress enough. Use the stems. There's so much flavor in there with the stems. So we're going to mix this all up. And that's it. That is our meat filling for our burritos. Our brisket burritos. Oh, that's just the meat part. But man, it brings cheer to your eye. It is so good so here we go that's a plate with a tortilla i'm going to put five tortillas on here and then i'm going to cover it up once i get all five with a wet paper towel and i shouldn't say wet it's just damp and that we're going to throw in the microwave and we're going to nuke it for a good 30 seconds now while that's nuking away i'm going to spray my little glass baking dish here with some non-stick and we're good to go. Let's party. Let's build this baby up. So we have our warm tortillas that I nuked for 30 seconds. I touch them. Yep, they're warm. And they really make them pliable so they won't tear on you. I'm using no carb um, flour tortillas. And it's really, it turned out to be really good. So I put a, a bottom layer of cheese. Then I'm going to put a layer of meat mm, of that awesome awesome brisket and then we're just going to roll it up after i put a little more cheese in it of course you got to put cheese in the bottom and the top it's a rule it's a rule so you just fold in the sides flip it over rake it back and roll bam done put it in your baking dish and i did it right on top of the other tortillas less mess am i right you can't go wrong so let's make up another one cheese meat uh, look at that i think it needs maybe one more piece just one perfect okay now we're going to put some cheese on top of that roll that baby up fold in the sides oops fix that oh now it's perfect cover it up rake it back and roll it in tuck in the sides if you can Booyah. yeah and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Here's two of them. I'm going to do three more and be right back. Bam! Done. Now, this is my wife's green chili. It's her pork green chili. My wife makes the best green chili. As a matter of fact, 
what we do is we make a big old pot of it and then we freeze it in quart sized bags. So we just took this out of the freezer, heated it up in a saucepan, and booyah, there you go. You can see it's not real soupy, and that's because when you have smothered burritos that you're going to bake in the oven, you don't want it soupy or overly wet because it'll turn regular flour tortillas and, and then make them gluey. Nobody likes that. It's kind of nasty. So we did not have that problem with this. Just use enough sauce to cover it and make it smothered, but don't go crazy with it. They don't need to be submerged and swimming like little submarines. We're going to top it with cheese, throw it in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. And what happens after that? Bam! Looky here, looky here. If you're liking this video, please give me a thumbs up. Because I'm telling you right now, if you make this, you'll give me two thumbs up if you can. Let's scoop this baby out. Look at that. Look at the steam. Oh, if you could smell that right now, you'd be in hog heaven. Let's dress this up. What do you say? First thing we're going to do is we're going to top it with a little shredded lettuce. Mm, doesn't that look fancy? Then let's probably throw a little bit of onion on there, some chopped up onion. Follow that up with some tomato. And then we'll do a little lime wedge. We'll squeeze some juice on there, a little lime. It's like being in a restaurant, isn't it? It's so amazing. So now we're going to put in some... Just some fresh cilantro. Man, cilantro is the bomb. And it's not Mexican food to me if you don't have a little bit of sour cream on there. So I got my little squeeze bottle of sour cream. And can I just say, whoever invented that, they're probably a millionaire, but they are smart. They're smart millionaires because that's amazing to me. Hey, guys, I really hope you tried this. Look at it one more time. Mmm. Hey, guys. I hope you try this. If you do, please let me know. Thanks for watching.